Greetings fellow gardeners, this is Paul, and thanks for checking out our four new banana plants. I got these from my friend Sal, so thank you very much Sal. I'm excited to see how these do in our zone 9B climate. Now first is Raja Puri. Now this banana will be small to medium sized, it will be straight or slightly curved, and the bunches will get 40 pounds. Now it's native to India, and it's known to be sweet and creamy, more of a dessert type of banana. So a very sweet, light dessert type of banana. You can see I'm using my dragon fruit potting soil to get these to uh, root and before I can transplant them into our native soil. And what I'm using here is pumice, or sorry, peat moss first, pumice, perlite, sand, and some biochar. Now I'll top dress, dress it with some fox farms in a few weeks once it kind of settles down a bit. Now up next, this beautiful banana plant here is the Misaluki banana. It's from Samoa, and it's similar to a dwarf namwa. It will get 15 to 20 feet high in height, and it's disease resistant. Now its fruit is excellent. It's known for really great flavor. It's sweet, and you can see our friend Sal had a nice bunch when we went and visited him around a year ago. I haven't tried it yet, but I hear it's reported to be an excellent, really great flavored fruit. And this one should be more disease tolerant and cold tolerant. And that's good for my zone 9B in northern, uh, Southern California, North County. Now, the reason why it's more cold tolerant is that it was collected in a higher elevation in Samoa, which I find interesting. And believe it or not, this is commercially grown in New Zealand. So it's gotta be a really great flavored banana. I'm excited to try it someday. Now up next, you can see blue java. This is a beautiful blue java. And also known as the ice cream banana. Now hopefully you've seen our video where we tried it with Sally, let us actually cut the bunch off and taste some really ripe ones. It was wonderful. Probably my favorite banana to date. And you could also see, I took a picture of his bananas when they are still blue. So they're blue when they're not ripe, but they will turn yellow and really thick and plump when they are ripe. And this is easily my favorite banana that I've ever tasted to date. They call it ice cream banana in Hawaii. And it's basically grown and consumed around the world. So it's a very popular variety, but many people get the wrong one. So be careful and make sure that it's the real one. Now last but not least is the San Jose banana. Now, I've done a video on this before. It's similar to the Del Monte banana, and it's native to Costa Rica, or it's from Costa Rica. And Peggy Winters and Jim Nitzel imported it, which are some really famous California rare fruit growers. So this is a really nice size San Jose, and this will get rather large in time. You can see I have some other San Jose's that have survived the winter, and they're just popping back. So I'll add this one to this bunch here. And I'm actually probably gonna move this blue java and put it with the other one you just saw, but it survived the winter really well here and it's just waking up. But I wanna separate these bunches so in time, they won't get mixed up. And then last but not least, I also have this Saba banana. And this one's doing the best, or it's waking up the first, first out of all of them after our winter. So there's a Saba banana that's just looking great. So there you go. There's a little update on our bananas. Give us a like and a subscribe. Thank you so much for your time. Have yourself a wonderful day. Take care.